But unlike the others, I'm a one beer wonder And I don't last long given the chance Right, start again. I'll just look at the fucking mic. <laughs> Hello again, and welcome to Big Wonder. I'm Scott, joined as ever by my partner in crime, Wonder. Wonder. Um, still going through our um, campaign for supporting local breweries, Wonder. Yep. All through November, whilst we're in lockdown. Yeah. Um, buy local, support local. Buy local, support local, support local business. Mm -hmm. you all don't hashtags. Don't spend much either, do you? Yeah. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't have to. Don't have to. Um, just get out there and support people that you like um, and the, the businesses that are local to you that you want to keep. Mm. Um, so obviously we went off to the Beer Musketeer um, on our little jaunt, our little video. Yeah. Uh, picked up a few bits and pieces, stuff that's going to come Christmas mm -hmm. time. And all safe distancing and all, all that. All safe distancing. Um, uh, he's got Lots of hand sanitizer in my bag. Yeah, click and collect service. So um, Jason's good as gold. So if you're in the Portsmouth area, go and give him some love. <laughs> Pardon me. Mm -hmm. And the beer that I actually went down for is this one from Fallen Acorn, which is just across the water from us. Yeah. Um, but still, one we, it's one, one of our. Go. Yeah, although it's not quite in Portsmouth. Mm. Um, it's still just. We stone throw really yeah it? and it's, really? it is a local business to us one we like mm. um and they do some good drinks do some very good sith faced um sith faced my favorite wave of light valia ghosts crystal haze yeah. um uh, they do some traditional stuff pompey royal wholehearted all really good stuff um mm. it's on www.fallenacombrewery.co uh, so go and give them some love i'll put a, a link up and all that sort of bollocks uh, and this one is their brand new wonder. And it come out Saturday. Come out Saturday. It? It's Monday today, and it's um it's called Not With That Altitude. Yeah. And it's their double dry hopped oat cream triple IPA. Mm. Coming in. Sounds creamy. It sounds creamy. Coming mm. in <laughs> a lovely strong, sessionable ten and a half percent, and it's six pound fifty a can. Right. Okay. Lovely artwork. It looks like tie yeah, dye. Multi -color, sort of like it? tie dye. What do you call it? Tie dye. Mm. Um, so, oat cream. I'm assuming oat cream. Yeah. Is I think a, I oat cream uh, no, I, th I think oat cream is a mix. I mean, if Tim watches this um, from Fallen so, Acorn, I'm assuming oat cream is a mix of oats and lactose. Okay. Um, but I might be wrong in that. Mm. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Yeah, there are some tasty notes. What I don't want to do. I did have a. I don't like looking at the notes particularly, right. um, but if you look it's at the third IPA. paragraph, yeah, the, th the third paragraph down. And a nod to Other Half Brewing in New York, one of our favourite breweries across the pond and inspiration for this style. Right, okay. Um, the, the only other triple IPA, I say we've done, I've had on the channel was for, for again from another local brewery, which is yeah. um, Staggerly Goods SG5, which was an absolute stormer. Um, you didn't have that because you were away at the time. Mm -hmm. um, spoke to Jason about this one at the Beer Musketeer. He's, yeah. And I know Tim from Fallen Acorn is very proud of this. So hopefully it's going to be good. And we're going to use our Fallen Acorn mug. Yeah. I've got pink one. Scott's got blue one. So I'm getting a whiff out of that almost instantly. Well, I'm getting a bit of a bunged up nose to be fair. So I don't know how well I'm going to do on the smell. Well, on the sniff. Yeah. It's got the sniffles. They're not with that altitude. I like the name. Mm -hmm. Name's cracking. In yeah. the glass. They come up with some good names though, Yeah, they do. They? Nice deep orange colour. Oh, oh I am smelling it now. The um, the carbonation is, is quite it's light. cute bubbles. On a... I didn't expect the head to hang around at ten and a half percent. No. So half a finger. So the stronger the, head, uh, the drink, the less head it's got. Generally, head retention on a oh. on a higher ABV beer. But it's disappearing, anyway. Yeah. So wonder. Uh, first order of business. Swell and sniff. <laughs> smell the alcohol in it though which okay. is quite surprising you normally can can't you yeah oh, it smells like your cup of tea scott it's not a cup of tea or a cup of beer what's your flavors tropical yeah tropical oranges fruit bowl. pineapple okay 
Cool. Maybe melon. Okay. It looks yeah, lovely. It smells quite nice. It looks really nice. I say I'm getting a whiff it's from fruity. 18 inches away. Yeah. Cool. Yes, it smells nice. Loads of mango, pineapple, orange. Mm -hmm. And I agree with you, it's um, not getting any alcohol. ABV. And normally you can't be like, wow, that has got a lot of alcohol in it. <laughs> Punch bowl, it smells like a, like a fruit bowl. Yeah. Go on in, Wanda. I know you're, um, you're not looking forward to this one. <laughs> Only because of the ABV. <laughs> this will be a dainty sip. There is a bit of a alcohol burn. Bit of a in kick out one. of it. Yeah. Or was it a hop? Oh, it might be a hop. I don't know. Hop, skip, and jump. Hop, skip, know. and jump. You are going <coughs> to like that, Scott. So you're getting the alcohol. You're getting the alcohol. Yeah. Yeah. But it, it, there is some nice. There's a orangey. Fruity. What's the mouth fizzy. feel like? Is it? Is it? Is it fizzy? Is it not fizzy? Not fizzy. Okay. But it's quite smooth actually. Okay. I look forward to this one. Yeah. 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 Yeah.